Google's just introduced Google Now for the desktop, sort of. Now, Google Now is Google's personal assistant that loads information for you before you need it. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and today I'll show you how to get Google Now on everything. To get started with Google Now on the desktop, you're actually going to have to start off with a mobile device. Now, I happen to have my Android phone right here, and what you do is you go into your apps and you go into Google Settings. Within Google Settings, you'll see an option for Search and Now. Click that. Then you'll see Google Now on the very top. Make sure that's turned on. When you turn on Google Now, you'll see a bunch of text saying, hey, this is what Google Now does. Now, what Google Now actually does, it takes a look at all of the activities you're doing using Google. So if you don't like being tracked, you're not going to probably want this at all. But me, I like Google knowing what I'm doing. makes it a lot easier. I'm going to say, yes, I'm in. I'm going to use my account. And right away, I get information about the weather, nearby events, and other items. I can even add things like my favorite sports team so I can get updates. That's setting up Google Now on your phone. Once you've got that set up, you got to go to your desktop and you got to download Google Chrome Beta. Now, the easiest way to do that is simply do a search for Google Chrome Beta. It's the top result on Google. You'll find that and you'll see Download Chrome Beta. You click Download and then you install the application. Once you've opened up Chrome Beta, make sure you log in using the same Google account that you're using on your mobile device. That'll connect everything together. Then you'll click the Chrome Notification Center. Now, in Mac, it happens to be on the top. It's that little bell. You'll click that. You can click the gear icon to make sure that Google Now is actually selected as an option. Google says that Now on Chrome shows a subset of the Now cards you'd see on your mobile device. So you're not going to see exactly the same stuff. You will see things like the weather or your favorite sports team scores if you have that enabled. In my case, you can see it pops up. When you click one of those cards, you actually be taken to a website of that information. Look at the heat. Looks like they beat my Warriors. That sucks. If for some reason you're not seeing Google Now cards showing up in that notification center, you might want to do this little hack workaround. You go into the address field, you type in Chrome colon slash slash flags. Do a quick find for Google Now. You'll see that it's set to default. Make sure that's set to enabled. That way, you might be able to actually see those cards. You'll see on the bottom, it's going to ask you to restart Chrome. Once you restart Chrome, you should be able to see Google Now cards showing up in that notification center. If you want to edit things like your favorite sports teams or defining where your workplace is, you're going to still have to pick up a mobile device, actually, because there doesn't appear to be a way to edit that information on the desktop version. You're going to have to go back into Google and change it on your phone. Now we've got Google Now on our desktop, our mobile devices. We've got it everywhere. We're not going to miss any notifications. That's really cool. I'm a big fan of Google Now. For more handy tips and tricks like this, check out howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Ayaz Akhtar. Thanks for watching.